everyone, it's Kay Scott from the clinic, one of the directors. I'm joined tonight by Leah Sendrick, who you all know, one of our senior registered nurses. Leah tonight is going to be performing a skin pen, but before we get into the treatment, we're just talking a little bit about pigmentation. So the three types of pigmentation that we see at the clinic are sun damage, acne scarring, and usually melasma, which is caused by hormonal fluctuations in pregnancy, uh, contraceptive pill. The main way we treat pigmentation at the clinic is treatment, but also with products. So if you can't get in to see us, the best way is to at least start some treatment using really strong tyrosine inhibitors at home. So our top two tyrosine inhibitor, what tyrosine inhibitor means is it reduces the pigment cells. So Aspect, Dr. Aspect Complete Pigment, uh, Complete Pigment Serum is our favorite. It hit the market last year, Leah, mm. and the results are unbelievable. That is for like a normal skin or any kind of a skin can use it. But if you have a slightly oilier skin, we use Excel. Mm. So they're the top two serums that we use. Also, it's so important not just to treat the melasma or the pigmentation. I say to people, if you don't get your basics right, as in your right cleansers, your right moisturizers, there's no point. So for an oily skin, a really good routine would be Purity Clean and an ultra light moisturizer by Aspect combined with the Complete Pigment Serum or the XL. And then just for a normal skin with melasma, we would do a Benefit Clean and a moisturizer with a tyrosine inhibitor. So I'm gonna pass you over to Leah to talk about skin pen. Hello everybody, welcome to this Tuesday evening live. So I have the beautiful Alison here. Um, Alison has come in to us this evening, never had skin pen before, so it is a first time. She has been marinating with some Emla cream, so that mm -hmm. means it takes some of that edge off. So I don't think anyone finds it that painful. How did you find the first half? Not painful at all. Yes, yeah, so we've already completed one half of Alison's face. So as you can see, there's this beautiful redness. So it's erythema, so a little bit of redness, tiny bit of swelling. That means we've had a great result. Now I want to mention the skin pen, the kneeling device that we use, does not need bleeding. So I don't think when people come in, how much blood am I gonna have in my face? It will be like a vampire facial, no. All you need is slight erythema and redness, just like we have achieved with um, Alison already this evening. The reason being is we don't wanna cause any more trauma than what's necessary. Because what we're doing with needling is that we're using 14 acupuncture sized needles, so I can open up to this. Little acupuncture sized needles, and what they're gonna do is break up skin cells, then what that leads to is trauma in the skin, which is going to release growth and healing factors, so things like collagen and elastin. So not only is skin pen great for pigmentation, but it's also suitable to help with collagen remodeling and also for anti-aging. So as Kay's mentioned, all of our clients that are going to be having skin pen need to be using a tyrosinase inhibitor. Reason being is it's not going to create any worsening pigment. So you won't leave more sun sensitized because your skin is actually prepped and strengthened and ready to have treatment. So, um, is there anything you want me to mention extra, K or no, anything you want I, I to say? No, I just think with Alison, um, we reason, are, yeah, yeah, the reason we're doing the skin pen with Alison is sun damage. So, so as you, you can, can see, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a very superficial type of pigmentation, which is probably the easiest to treat. Yeah. Again, there's no point in just doing a skin pen and then not using your product at home because the, the, the question that people ask us all the time is, if I do skin pen, is my, is my pigmentation gone? The same with any other modality that we use to treat pigmentation. But the biggest cause of this is sun. So if you're not using a sunblock and you, you can still go in the sun, but you just have to be really, really careful yeah, with your sunblock. So we didn't talk about sunblock, so we went through the products, but it, I think it's really important to find a sunblock that suits your skin that you're gonna use every day. So this is, you can go ahead and start. So now. we've got the Skin Fuse range, which comes with our skin pen. So the skin pen is, um, it's medical practitioner use only which means you have to be a registered nurse or a doctor to actually be using this device. So this sets this apart from any other kneeling devices you can find that's out there at the moment in beauty clinics. So we actually use the skin fuse to help lubricate the skin as we perform the treatment. So I'm gonna start again on Alison's forehead. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of the serum on the skin. Grabbing my skin pen. So I'm gonna go 
up a little bit in needle depth. This turns the machine on. <laughs> Sounds a bit terrifying, but it's really not that bad. So I'm gonna come onto the skin. And what we're aiming to see is that little bit of redness, a tiny bit of pinpoint bleeding, as we can see here, is completely normal. So I'm gonna work up through the forehead. So to perform the full face, it takes about half an hour, 40 minutes. And the good thing about skin pen is you can actually do it anywhere. So you can do it on your neck or your chest. Perfect for those sun damaged chests that we see. So there's a question um, that's just come up about hormonal pigmentation. Yes. I'm just going to talk about hormonal pigmentation because it is the most difficult type of pigmentation that we treat. So when we talk hormonal pigmentation, we, talk, we, we usually, it's a very different look than to Alison's skin. So it's almost like a stain on the forehead and a little bit on the cheeks. It's either from the pill, from pregnancy, or sometimes people who have over-treated their skin using different treatments, whether it be product or in-house treatments, um, and cause almost a permanent marking of melasma on their skin. So the bottom line with hormonal pigmentation is, First of all, if you're a young girl watching this and you're on the pill, if you stop the pill, the pigmentation can sometimes almost dissipate completely, even without treatment, even to speed it up using something like Complete Pigment. The only treatment that we will do on melasma after a clear diagnosis, now in our clinic, like Leah's a registered nurse, but I always say to people, go and visit your GP or dermatologist and find out why the melasma is there. It is usually hormonal fluctuations from pregnancy or the pill. There is no treatment that will remove it completely. So it's all about managing mm -hmm. your pigmentation. So skin pen is one of the things that we do for melasma and another treatment called deep, um, deep sea peel from cosmetics. But really, it's, it's an ongoing management to look after melasma or to treat melasma. There's no quick fix and there's really usually no way it's going to disappear completely. forever. Yeah. As I say to all my girls, go and live in London uh, where there's no sun and that will be, and there's no treatment that on the market that gets rid of melasma. You have to really, there's another question here. Um, for something, yeah, so for sun damaged skin, a really good exfoliant, it depends on your skin. We have got so many different exfoliants. A really strong one is a detox, the cosmetics detox salicylic which is a physical scrub that you mix with your cleanser so that's that is probably one of our best sellers if you're pregnant um, you can use the glow mask which I don't have with me or we have a PCA um, exfoliating cleanser and ex uh, all in one called what's it called is a PCA the pore refining, pore refining treatment. treatment but there's I think the best way there's no one exfoliator for everyone so if you're not pregnant if you've got oily skin detox salicylic um, if you are pregnant, pure enzyme cranberry mask is more of a chemical exfoliation. And the biggest thing, people think that if there's sun damage, they exfoliate on a regular basis. Sometimes you can over exfoliate, which we talked about in another live not so long ago. So be really, really careful not to overdo it. All exfoliation does at home is just buffs off those dead cells. So with pigmentation on sun damaged skin, a lot of it sits in the epidermis, like you know, even with Alison, some of hers is just epidermal pigmentation. But then you can see some women come in, and I'll, I'll just see if we can see on Alison. I was gonna move, she's got some darker spots here. Yeah. Now they probably won't go, because that is prolonged sun damage versus a very slight one here. She doesn't have any melasma. No. Even though she's had five children, she escaped the melasma. But, so these kind of sun spots usually won't go with these superficial type treatments. But epidermal, yeah, can we just point out that, yeah, there. So, um, I wonder if there's any on this side. Do you have any look. on that side, just so we can look. So, and there's some here. So, yeah, up through here, yeah. you can see that's some deeper pigment versus this down here. It's superficial. So, for someone wanting to treat pigmentation, quite honestly, you need to have between three to six skin pen treatments. Yeah. It's not a one hit wonder. You can't just have one and expect no. all your pigment to go. I mean, pigment is, is something that we get more inquiries about than anything else, but we live in a country that it is sunny all the time. Even like today, you should have a sunblock on. Um, it's constant, like um, I think Alison's been coming just for years and she mixes it up. Every winter she comes in, she clears her pigmentation. 
and gets ready for summer again. Um, but you're probably more conscious, Alison, of not exposing your um, skin to the sun Absolutely. than what, what you were 10 years ago when we met first. Definitely. So do we go through the cost of the skin pan, Leah? So one treatment is $550. You also get all of your aftercare, which I think is really important because you can't do the skin pen without following the right aftercare. Um, we do have offers at the clinic if you're going to be doing multiple treatments, so three treatments of more, you can prepay and have 20% off your treatments. So there's a question there, would you use a serum as a preventative form to stop pigmentation? There it is. A complete pigment serum, it depends on your skin type, like I'm Snow White, <laughs> I have minimum pigment in my skin. I'm ethnic. <laughs> <laughs> and so what I used it probably not, my biggest advice to you is, if you want to prevent sun damage and pigmentation, use a really good sunblock every day. In this particular serum, it's not just a tyrosol inhibitor, it's got a bit of vitamin C, it's got niacinamide. So it's a great, I call it the multivitamin for Australian skin because it's got a bit of everything in it. So it's not going to do you, do you any harm to use it to prevent pigmentation. But I think it just also gives you a really nice, even tone and it helps with redness as well. So it's probably one of my top picks. And the cost of that is uh, 50 and it's 20% <laughs> off at the moment. And um, so I'm just gonna show quickly this under Alison's eye. We can actually treat the periorbital area really safely with skin pen. It's actually one of its indications through the FDA that you can treat these perioral lines. And especially when people get a bit of melasma through up around this eye area, we can treat it really safely. A question that people often give us is, or ask us, is about dark circles under pigment under the eye. Do you want to comment on that, Leah? So dark circles under the eye is really hereditary. It's also lifestyle based. It's also to do with, um, yeah, basically your lifestyle, how much water you're drinking, look at your genetics from your family. Do you have really thin underlying skin? So there's no one hit wonder treatment to fix dark circles. Um, you want to be hydrating, you want to be producing collagen underneath this eye area to help with that thinner skin. So that's where skin pen, where it produces and helps that collagen stimulation. You may notice, you know, even plumper looking skin, so it may help the look of dark circles. Um, but you know, there's nothing that, you know, that we really say is going to get rid of a dark And eye. sometimes you often see around that orbital area that people come in just from their sunglasses see yes. it's quite pigmented just around there. So it makes them look really tired under the eye. And once we've removed that pigmentation, the eye area looks, looks so much, much brighter. Yeah. So the tr oh, I've got just got another question here. What is the difference between this particular joint and skin needling? I'll let you answer that later. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, or IPL, yeah. IPL. So I'll okay. let you I've that. actually finished now, so as we can see, um, the beautiful even redness that Alison has. I'm sure that Alison's skin feels quite hot, which is very, very normal. Um, that's just because we've stimulated and created a little bit of swelling and redness in the skin. So this is the perfect result that we want to see after our skin needling. So difference between IPL and skin needling, they're completely two different modalities. Skin needling, you're using those acupuncture sized needles to produce trauma in the skin, whereas IPL stands for intense pulse light. So you're using wavelengths of light that helps pick up reds and browns in the skin. So reds being capillaries, even post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation from acne, um, and then obviously browns being sun damage. So I think it depends on the skin. If you've got melasma, you're not doing IPL. No. It's gonna make your, like, make your melasma much, much worse yeah. in the long run than what it will with skin pen. Skin pen doesn't create worse in melasma. There's no heat, there's no laser involved with it. So it's completely safe for a melasma type skin. One thing that we just want to touch on quickly before we finish off is acne scarring. So um, we use skin pen a lot. So acne scarring in a young, I'm just going to do the typical acne scarring client that we see. They're usually about 25. They've had a little bit of adult acne. They've got those red and brown marks and that's what we call hyperpigmentation or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. To treat that type of skin, you first must treat the acne, it must be cleared, and then we would use skin pen or a combination of skin pen and IPL. But we find that skin pen works really well because we can adjust the depth, the depth. of the needle yep. to treat not only the scars, but also the discoloration. But again, with young acne skin and scarring, we must treat the acne first. I usually strongly advise when they come in that you see your GP, 
you see a dermatologist, clear the acne up first because you don't want to treat, and at least we can get rid of it, but then the acne will come again if you haven't treated it properly. Leah's just finishing off. Um, so I'm with... just popping on, um, this is part of the kit that you get at home, so it's called Lift HG, so it's just a hydrating gel. We do not infuse hyaluronic acid, reason being it can actually cause granulomas, which are kind of these hard, more mass types under the skin, and it can actually create more harm than good when you're infusing products in whilst you're skin needling. So this is completely safe for the skin. Um, Allison now will remain red for probably 24 to 48 hours. You can expect a little bit of dryness, even a little bit of peeling after this. Um, but you know, Allison be completely looked after because she has all her aftercare sorted. And then she can start back on her products a week after treatment. So the biggest question people ask when they're deciding to have this treatment is the downtime. So I would say no makeup for 48 hours. Definitely no makeup for, for 48 yeah. hours. Um, and what would you say the downtime? It's about five days of what we five, call social downtime. Yeah, five, yeah. Right about five days. Most people have it on a Monday and they're good for the weekend, but you wouldn't have it for a, a you know, a, a pre-event. No, yeah. you need it definitely probably yeah. three to four weeks before so a big event. Skin pen's great, red carpet, getting married. Um, just need a bit of a reboot for your whole winter for your skin for winter just to freshen up if you're starting from scratch and never treated your skin with anything and you're a bit scared of some of the other treatments like Fraxel or more invasive this is a really nice way to start in combination with peels and product next week is super exciting so we've had Kay this week with us for skin pen next week we have co-director Lisa who is going to be performing live anti-wrinkle injections and then we're also going to be teeing up with the Skin Better Science range, which works perfectly for all things anti-aging. So that's one definitely not to miss next Tuesday. So once again, if you can't come into treatment, so obviously for all of our international interstate clients, we are still running our video consultations. At, they are still complimentary at the yeah. moment. You can book in at theclinic.net.au and we'd love to see you catch up, you know, tailor create some treatment plans, talk about pigmentation more and 